Hello, everyone, and welcome to this session about one of the most important fundamental things about the UPSC exam. In fact, the whole examination, in some ways, in many ways, revolves around this issue. And this issue is, of course, current affairs. Current affairs includes everything that's happening in the world with regards to uh, India. And really, there is no clear demarcation as to what constitutes current affairs, where they end, where they um, begin. But the fact of the matter is that you cannot clear this exam without a very good hold on what current affairs have been ongoing over the past year or year and a half, somewhere in that ballpark of your examination attempt. Right. So we'll be discussing this, addressing this in some detail today. And we have some very interesting things to say about it from someone uh, very special who has expertise in this, who is experienced in this and who you will uh, be very happy to meet, who I will introduce you to you in just a little while. The thing to perhaps make you aware of, if you might not be, is that current affairs, you see, is asked in not only the prelims, but also in the mains, but also in the interview and also in the optional subjects. The influence and role of current affairs doesn't just end with prelims. It carries on. In fact, it's like the UPSC on every stage on different formats wants to know how keenly aware you are about the issues in the world and what you have to say about it, what your opinion is about them and what uh, you come away with as a solution to the burning issues around that time, around the debate, around many issues, right? Without further ado, let me introduce you uh, to you, the special guest for today. Our guest is Nitisha Gupta, IRS, uh, income tax. Madam is a very intelligent, talented uh, lady who has done a number of achievements before. She was, she's a BTEC uh, from mechanical engineering from NIT Bhopal. She has worked in the IOCL. She was in the Indian Railways. She secured IES rank seven. And in 2016, she cleared the UPSC civil services examination. She was appointed and uh, recruited in the income tax services of the IRS. And she currently um, serves as a deputy commissioner for income tax in Kolkata. Please help me welcome uh, the very talented and generous Nitisha Gupta, ma'am, for uh, this session. Nitisha, we are very happy to have you. Thank you so much, sir. Very excited, actually, to pick your brains because of all this work that you've been doing for aspirants. Otherwise, I should tell aspirants that Madam has a Telegram channel called Ask the Topper. She is constantly working and striving towards resolving this issue of current affairs. I don't think there's anybody better than her to be addressing this issue today. So that's why she's here. And we'll ask her a number of questions to pick her, pick her brains to tell us what um, we can extract from her. And so, Nitisha, my first question to you would be, what were the three biggest mistakes you committed during the examination? Uh, so, sir, first of all, uh, uh, good evening to you and all the aspirants who are watching this. Uh, and coming to your question, sir, I think uh, uh, like Thomas Edison uh, quoted that I have not failed. I've just found uh, 10,000 ways that won't work. So similarly, uh, I could not clear prelims in my first attempt. But uh, in my second attempt, I could clear the prelims, maze and through the interview and I got income tax. So uh, in my first attempt, I had committed a number of mistakes because uh, for success, you have just one single formula. And for failure, you have thousands of reasons. So, but if you ask me the three biggest ones, I would say first, I tried to complete 100% syllabus. Mm. And uh, since uh, you have also gone through the process, we all know that it is such a vast syllabus to complete. And if someone starts to, you know, uh, dwell deeper in this, then it would take around, I think it would be a five-year plan. It's true. We would, you know, try it start with 1 p.m. and end at the other p.m. Though Lok Sabha elections cover ho jate. So uh, trying to complete 100% syllabus, this was my first biggest mistake, I mm. would say. Mm. Then the second one was multiple sources. Mm. Although everybody, everybody, each person says that, you know, you should have a limited number of resources, you should revise them. But I don't know how it goes about how the head is tamed. That, mm -hmm. you know, we try to uh, read a number of sources, multiple sources. All of us have this tendency yes. to go through multiple sources. Invariably, so invariably, also... every and it trips you up every single time. You know, yes, every sir. single time. In fact, so, it all it comes back to bite you when at the end of the exam 
you realize what you've done with yourself you yes have... sir and we you know we think ki ab yaar pura saal chala gaya hum to yahi karte rahe right. then the third thing was uh, it was unplanned hmm. my preparation was totally unplanned and ineffective revision this i realized just before prelims when i had one month and i didn't know what to revise and how to revise i had a vast of resources i had covered everything almost but i had no time to revise and when in the exam i saw the questions i i i you know i thought that i knew this question i have read it somewhere but i couldn't recall the exact thing hmm. so uh, these were the three mistakes that i committed right uh, but you know mistakes are very important like you said about uh, thomas edison and how figuring out the way to success is through the mistakes but after okay. you did that tell us what were the three best practices that you were able to distill from your entire journey the three best practices uh so first of all uh, just going back to the earlier question i think that uh, there was a lack of guidance in my preparation if i would have someone who would have already cleared the exam who would have guided me i would be you know uh, i would have trusted that person more and i would have listened to that person because you know what happens is when you look at videos or you go to a coaching institute what they tell you don't believe them yes but getting uh, you know guidance from someone who has already done it it gives you a lot of confidence it relieves you of a lot of insecurities correct so then when i gave my second attempt i had some of my friends who had taken ul and they were going through this preparation again so then i you know uh, tried to just absorb some things from them mm. so the three things that i think worked for me in my second attempt first was uh, i made a micro plan i made a macro plan for 6 months and then i started off making uh, weekly plans weekly mm. targets i used to take and i used to complete them so first was macro plan for 6 months and micro plan for week then the second thing was i focused on topics which are repetitive mm. for which i required to analyze previous years questions what happened with me was you know what happens with aspirants that when you look at the paper for instance if you look at this year's essay paper mm. if any newbie looks at it it you know it feels like what is this ye kya aa gaya exam mein अगर फिर आपने भी हो सकता है इस बार का ऐसे पेपर देखा हो सो जो जो भी टॉपिक्स आए थे दे वर वेरी वे मतलब अगर कोई एक नया इंसान देखेगा तो उसको यही लगेगा कि ये क्या आ गया मैं तो कभी कर ही नहीं पाऊंगा एंड सो हिम्मत ही नहीं बचती कि हम पेपर्स देखें तो वॉट वी डू इज यू नो प्रोग्रेसनेट बाद में देखेंगे बाद में देखेंगे बट द फर्स्ट थिंग वी शुड डू इज यू शुड एनालाइज द पेपर्स तो एनालाइजिंग द पेपर्स देन फोकसिंग ऑन टॉपिक्स विच आर रेपिटेटिव and definitely made a macro plan for 6 months and a micro plan for week right and that is exactly in line with you know what we do uh, in this mentorship program in fact what i suggest oh. to my students is born directly from this insight i faced the exact same issues that you mentioned and mm-hmm. i didn't go through just one macro plan you know i went through multiple ones 3 months 6 months so on and so forth and ultimately i was able to boil all of this down including this issue about analyzing previous year questions to yeah. something called the hexa task method and that's a very interesting you know segue but today i would like to uh, pick your brains on a very central issue which bothers many of my students and many aspirants all around the country and that issue is current affairs needless yeah. to say they are very important definitely and the one reason you know why why they overwhelm people and why they are difficult is because there is just way too much information and it needs to be updated constantly right and it is overwhelming i think it's a full time job to keep yourself updated about everything that's going mm-hmm. on in the world let mm-hmm. alone your other subjects your optional subjects uh, your history geography and so on and so forth what do you do about this is there a way to filter things out and um, what is your take on this issue of constantly having to stay updated and how to do so so uh, see current affairs i think you should have uh, you know a continuous update on the issue by reading the editorials daily mm-hmm. i never tell students to you know go through the entire newspaper i always tell them just have a look at the editorials on a daily basis because all the issues are you know recurring they are somehow recurring uh, in fact i'll just share some of my notes that i have made for editorials in the last one month and i'll tell you how do i up keep updating them so first of all try to read the editorials on a daily basis don't leave them because once you start leaving editorials then you will never be able to cope up with it secondly don't give too much time on newspapers we 
I gave the exam in 2016 as mm-hmm. well as in 15. So at that time, sir, there were no, you know, like these monthly magazines were not very popular at that time. Right. We had only Vision IS uh, giving its monthly magazine. Mm-hmm. But nowadays there are so many magazines, and people go after all the magazines. Right, right, right. But that I would say actually to my next question, Nitisha. Yes, yes. Sir. How do you filter down the sources, and which yes, ones do you think are the best, and what is the optimal number of sources to have? So as far as I am concerned. i'm a very lazy person so i just you know zeroed down to two sources but nowadays i find people matlab the toppers uh, they usually use this pib website also but i think for me vision is was very good monthly mm-hmm. magazine was excellent mm-hmm. i followed monthly magazines then uh, ultimately before the exam i tried to zero down on pt365 right as well as uh, nowadays insights on india is also releasing its insta it's also very good both of them are overlapping to some extent so mm. we need to just filter out the contents for mains and prelims right so once we are able to filter out for prelims and mains then we can revise as per the exam right. so when it's prelims then we can revise the prelim stuff and when it's mains we can revise the mains stuff so just to summarize nitisha you recommend yes. either one of them vision ias or inside or would you recommend both so i recommend both okay in fact i have you know i keep underlining things for mm. students so i have mm. underlined from both right and and uh, of course the newspaper along with it yes sir. editorials newspaper editorials are very good Editorial. because uh, you need to catch the language also because right. writing in the exam is totally a different game right when you and start this... to write especially for engineers i think when you yes. start to write write you don't have words to write that's right and uh, you know you typically left brain people are more analytically driven and not very expressive yes, that's sir. that's definitely an issue and this yes. uh, brings me organically to my next question nitisha is which is that how do you make notes from all of these you have a lot of content with you coming in through the newspapers and through these monthly magazines how do you summarize how do you capture how do you condense so i think pt365 for from vision is it's the best source you don't need to make notes out of newspaper news specifically right. but yes you should make news uh, notes out of editorials hmm. for which i have made some notes out of editorials in the last one month and of from may also so i'll just share my screen uh once yeah, i have yeah. a chance and then we can i can tell you that would be fantastic and in fact this is something which uh, i've been wanting to tell people to in, in today's session there is a special treat for you ma'am is going to take you through newspaper analysis of her own so she'll be doing a session within this session a micro session which will begin very shortly uh it would be best if you listen to her very carefully see how she goes through the newspaper see how she filters the news and which she news uh, she thinks is worth consideration how she analyzes the editorials how she picks out keywords all of these things she'll be demonstrating for you live it will be uh, yesterday's newspaper or perhaps a few days ago it doesn't matter which days a uh, newspaper she uses the fact is if you can figure out how to do one you can figure out how to do the other and this is a golden opportunity for you to see how exactly she did because whatever she'll show you is what has led to her success and so by corollary it can lead to yours as well it's very precious very exclusive uh, very generous of her to do so so please listen carefully and um, after this i will have another very interesting bonus which uh, ma'am has generously shared with you i'll tell you about that but for now it's over to uh, nitisha nitisha please care, uh, share your screen and take the students through your entire process of filtering the newspaper thank you so much sir so i think uh, you should give me permission to share my screen yes 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 i think it will work now yes sir so uh i'll be taking you through 18th january newspaper that is monday's newspaper yesterday's newspaper only 
So coming to the first page, Punjab polling now on Feb 20th, we are not interested. Whenever is the polling, that is not uh, concerned with our UPSC. So we leave it. Yes. Then we have a news, Akhilesh promises. See, political news is not really required until and unless it has any element of polity specifically involved. For instance, if there is something related to, you know, ECI, then it would be uh, concerning us. For instance, a few days back, there was a news that uh, the governor of, I think, Kerala is not allowing the election of the speaker. So I'll just show you, I have made notes out of it. So you can make similar notes. Now, the next thing that I can see here is Republic Day tableau rejected after due process. So this will become an important news because... What tableau is it? It's about Narayan Guru. So that will become important for us. Now, the next thing is India helping the world deal with pandemic PM. This is not of any importance to us because see, whatever is written here, it will never be asked in the questions that have already come. It has never been asked. What is the PM doing about, you know, how is India helping the world deal with the pandemic? You can use it as a, uh, example for soft power but as such this news is not important see uh, knowing what to skim or what to you know accept or reject when reading a newspaper it will only happen once you go through at least five years papers if you are not going through the uh, you know previous years question papers you will not be able to skim through also you should know what is what your syllabus contains ठीक है अगर आपको पता ही नहीं है कि आपके सिलेबस में क्या लिखा हुआ है तो आप न्यूज़ को कभी भी बाइफर्केट नहीं कर पाएंगे ईच एंड एवरी न्यूज़ यू रीड जस्ट जस्ट आस्क योरसेल्फ वन क्वेश्चन इज इट इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर पेपर नंबर 1 पेपर नंबर 2 3 और 4 ओके सो पेपर नंबर 4 इज वेरी इजी बिकॉज़ एथिक्स का आपको समझ में आ जाता है कि ओके दिस बिकम्स अ केस स्टडी ओके बट पेपर नंबर 2 सबसे ज्यादा ट्रिकी होता है, because पॉलिटी से कंसर्न रहता है और इंटरनेशनल रिलेशंस से रहता है, so you don't know how to you know manage it, but still I would say कि आप अपना जो न्यूज़पेपर रीडिंग वाला टाइम है, आप अगर शुरुआत कर रहे हैं, तो आप उसको टाइम दीजिए, वरना if you have spent around one two months or three months reading the newspaper, don't give time on newspaper, just skim through the editorials and go to some of the magazines, वहाँ आपको ready-made notes में बने मिलेंगे and just do smart work, just try to absorb as much as possible from those notes and try to revise them on a monthly basis or bi-monthly basis. Uh, Nirisha, one, news... one question which I apologize yes, to sir. interrupt. How much time yes, should they give to analyzing one newspaper per day and what would be the upper limit for that? So I think 45 minutes for people who have already gone through this process for three months. और एकदम न्यूबीज अगर कोई है तो वन आ फिफ्टीन मिनट से ज़्यादा नहीं देना चाहिए। अदरवाइज़ इट विल नॉट हेल्प। देन द न्यूज़ एससी वॉइसेस कंसर्न फॉर चिल्ड्रन हिट बाय थर्ड वेव इट्स नॉट इम्पोर्टेंट फॉर अस। ओके देन टू इंडियंस आई थिंक दिस इज़ अ न्यूज़ रिलेटेड टू इंडियंस � once you are able to identify कि अच्छा मैं इस news को अपने इस paper में use कर सकता हूँ या कर सकती हूँ, then आप उसको पढ़िए। अगर आप उसको use ही नहीं कर सकते हैं, तो आप उसको पढ़ने का कोई मतलब नहीं। अब ये two Indians और पाकिस्तानी killed in U A E tanker blast अब आप इसको कहाँ use करेंगे? क्योंकि अगर safety से related कोई question आता है मान लीजिए, तो वो आपको India के context में आएगा, आपको ये international context में safety से related चीज � ठीक है, so this news becomes futile for us. इसको पढ़ने की जरूरत नहीं है। ठीक है, COVID spike continues. This is totally of no use for us right now. ठीक है, especially जब आप exam जून में देने वाले हैं, तो अभी क्या चल रहा है? You should not be concerned. Wait and watch. मई तक क्या होता है? That should concern you. Final outcome क्या रहती है इसकी? In fact, I always say and I always say that the news from COVID related to COVID, please don't waste time on that. In editorials, you can say about Omicron, don't waste time on that because you have to give an exam in June. And what is happening in May? 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 See, you are not someone, you know, you are not a bureaucrat or news reader. That you have to be daily updated. 
ओके योर एम शुड बी के भाई मे में फाइनल क्या हुआ है हमें वो देखना है सो ये जो ऑन गोइंग इशूज है जो रिकरिंग इशूज है वो आप मे में फाइनल देखें उसका क्या आउटकम निकला है इनफैक्ट जितने भी बिल्स आते हैं जो भी ड्राफ्ट आते हैं जस्ट गो टू पी वाला वेबसाइट जो है जस्ट गो ऑन दैट फाइनल क्या हुआ है अब वो देखिए ड्राफ्ट्स में अपना टाइम वेस्ट मत कीजिए अदरवाइज यूल यूल ओनली गेट कंफ्यूज्ड एंड नथिंग एल्स क्योंकि ड्राफ्ट में कुछ आएगा फाइनल बिल कुछ और पास होगा और फिर आप बीच में रहेंगे और एग्जाम में आप पूरा कंफ्यूज हो जाएंगे कि क्या फाइनल चीज थी then delhi this is city so i don't think city is really important for us until and unless it's an example for something for instance agar koi city ka example aata hai ki is city ne you know is tarah se vaccination drive ki and they were able to vaccinate 100% of their people then that can be considered as a good example and you can note it down somewhere otherwise not required city news not required then need more time to decide stand on marital rape center tells etc so isme aap kya karenge is news ko padhne ki bhi zarurat nahi hai mujhe lagta hai jab center keh raha hai ki mujhe zyada time chahiye to theek hai let's wait what center says what high court says we should wait for it cm needs to fulfill promises now this is totally political news no need to read it Rift between ruling alliance partners widens in Bihar. I think आप तो समझ ही गए होंगे कि political news है नहीं पढ़ना है. Then there is something called गति शक्ति. Okay, so गति शक्ति जो है एक corridor आया है, ठीक है तेलंगाना और जो southern states की हैं. So you will find it in the current affairs magazine. आप कोई भी magazine उठाएंगे, Vision उठाएंगे, Insta उठाएंगे. In fact, October की magazine में ही गति शक्ति पे बहुत बड़ा article है. ठीक है, सो यू कैन गो थ्रू इट यहां से मत पढ़िए क्योंकि आप यहां पढ़ेंगे आपको इसमें पॉलिटिकल ओपिनियंस मिलेंगे और कुछ भी नहीं मिलेगा योर मेन फोकस शुड बी व्हाट इज गति शक्ति ठीक है उसके कंसर्न्स क्या है और उसके साथ जो है एडवांटेजेस uh, क्या है तो so, कोई भी न्यूज है आप उसको दो तीन हेड्स में डिवाइड कर लो अगर कोई कोई स्कीम है यू जस्ट गो थ्रू एंड रीड द बेनिफिशरीज ऑफ दैट स्कीम वॉट इज यू नो द मेन पर्पज ऑफ दैट स्कीम Which ministry is implementing it? ये तीन चीजें अगर आपको पता है किसी भी स्कीम के बारे में यू आर डन विद स्कीम आपको और कुछ भी करने की जरूरत नहीं है और कुछ ऐसी चीज आती है जैसे गति शक्ति है इट्स अ कॉरिडोर अब इस कॉरिडोर कहाँ कहाँ किस किस स्टेट से पास हो रहा है नंबर वन यू शुड नो नंबर टू इसके एडवांटेजेस क्या क्या है नंबर थ्री इसके डिसएडवांटेजेस क्या है मतलब वॉट इज द कॉज ऑफ कंसर्न वाई इट इज बींग अपोज बाय पीपल अगर इन तीन चीजों के बारे में आपको पता है देन यू आर डन विद न्यूज so moving on it's a struggle for treatment for non covid patients in delhi see uh, many of you might think ki uh, you know ma'am bahut zyada uh, thodi si zyada sakht ho rahi hai ya she is uh, not very emotional about this news see i'm really emotional but aapko exam dena hai so when you have to give an exam you just try to think with your brain thoda dil se kaam soche thoda dimag se zyada soche तो आप एग्जाम पास कर लेंगे डेवलपिंग स्टोरी एंड इट विल बिकम अपेरेंट एट द एंड ऑफ फाइव और सिक्स मंथ्स व्हाट वाज वर्थ टेकिंग इनटू कंसिडरेशन एट ऑल एग्जैक्टली सर एग्जैक्टली सर तो कंप्लीटली अग्री विद दैट and it takes Many. a bit of you know application of mind common sense usually when you go through a newspaper you read, you read this thing it is so condensed so densely packed with information it is easy to get lost you know you feel like you should read everything but it okay. takes a little bit of discipline like ma'am is trying to tell you that if there is something which is repetitive you know it will be there tomorrow you know it's an ongoing story you know it is not a settled issue yet your examination is still a few months ahead don't spend too much time on it know what it is let it develop organically and with repeated exposure like ma'am is suggesting there is no way you will escape it or even if you do escape it there is no way the notes that you will monthly notes and all you will take will escape it so it is more a uh, actually process of filtering i think that is what ma'am's message is if i am if i am correctly sure totally sir totally totally sir this is what i was actually trying to tell them then akhilesh promises msp totally election based news not required kolkata book fair postponed by a month not required so uh, i think ab iske baad jo uh, hame karna hai wo basically editorials so i have made notes out of editorials also so i'll just show you once we go through this entire news paper i'll come back to the editorial portion
देन टैबलो रिजेक्टेड आफ्टर ड्यू प्रोसेस सो एक वेस्ट बेंगाल का एक तमिलनाडु का एक केरला का जो टैबलो होता है टैबलो मतलब यू नो यू डिपेक्ट समथिंग एक डिपिक्शन होता है मतलब एक आप क्या कहेंगे प्ले टाइप का करते हैं तो रिपब्लिक डे परेड में हर स्टेट नेताजी सुभाष चंद्र बोस का वो एक टैप करना चाह रहे थे आई एन ए की वन ट्वेंटी फिफ्थ बर्थ नेताजी सुभाष चंद्र बोस की वन ट्वेंटी फिफ्थ एनिवर्सरी बर्थ एनिवर्सरी सो इट विल बिकम इम्पोर्टेंट फॉर योर प्रॉब्लम्स नाउ तो नेताजी सुभाष बोस से रिलेटेड जो भी चीज है उनकी थोड़ी सी शॉर्ट हिस्ट्री देन उन्होंने कुछ लिखा है उनकी कोई पब्लिकेशंस है ऑल दिस विल बिकम इम्पोर्टेंट फॉर यू एंड ही विल बिकम एन इम्पोर्टेंट पर्सनालिटी फॉर यू फॉर टू टू जीरो टू टू प्रिलिम्स तो इन सब चीजों का आपको थोड़ा सा ध्यान रखना है देन नारायण गुरु पे भी इंटरजेक्ट फॉर अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट एज वन गोज थ्रू करंट अफेयर inevitably yes, you will collide into some theoretical aspects like for example you need to know what ina is and that subhash chandra yes. bose was the person who was responsible for formation and then mm-hmm. to be able to connect it with history and perhaps with economics or whatever it might be so it's a simultaneous process mm-hmm. don't don't treat the current affairs as an isolated subject it is completely embedded within gs totally sir and actually whatever is being asked from static portion it's related to current only kyunki aisa nahi hoga na ki one fine day some examiner who setting the paper remembers ki okay i have to ask about subhash chandra bose aisa to nahi ho sakta vaguely koi kuch bhi nahi puchta he must have read it somewhere it must have been something related to current that's why he got the idea of asking about it so just keep in mind ki aap jo bhi padhte hain ya jo bhi current mein rehta hai wahi examiner bhi padh raha hoga jo question paper set kar raha hai and then he tries to filter out for instance uh, kerala uh, mein ek last year ki baat hai um, one she elephant was fed with fire crackers and that elephant was pregnant i think that was in news it was all over news all over news aur fir prelims mein usi se related question aa gaya tha about elephant gestation period लाइफ स्पैन ऑफ एन एलिफेंट ऑल दैट रिलेटेड टू दी एलिफेंट तो इस तरह से क्वेश्चन यू नो पूछे जाते हैं जो भी देख रहा होगा न्यूज उसने एलिफेंट के बारे में देखा होगा तो उसने वही चीज पूछ ली सो जस्ट कीप दिस इन माइंड की कैसे न्यूज से यू नो स्टार्टिक पोर्शन पूछा जाता है राइट एंड इट डायरेक्टली लीड ऑलवेज टू द क्वेश्चन वॉट लॉज इन दंट्री डू वी हैव विच गवर्न दिस थिंग सो देर आर laws against animal brutality you should have known whether or not they asked they might as well have asked it was so close to it yep. so anything that becomes associated with it within very close associations but you can connect the dots common sensically that this is something which has been asked it is very likely to go in these directions cover that direction in that radius you know. i think that's what ma'am is recommending yes sir then i think All the other news here is not for us. और अगर देखिए एक आध न्यूज छूट भी जाती है आपसे ठीक है सो इट विल बी कवर्ड इन योर यू नो मंथली डोंट बी यू नो हम क्या होता है बहुत ज्यादा इमोशनल हो जाते हैं हम बहुत सेंटिमेंटल हो जाते हैं कुछ कुछ चीजों को लेके कि एक भी न्यूज नहीं छूटनी चाहिए ऐसा कुछ नहीं होगा कि आपसे कुछ छूट जाएगा आप मैगजीन में जाओगे उसमें जरूरत से ज्यादा दिया रहता है ठीक है यू वॉन्ट बी एबल टू लर्न इट ऑल्सो तो इससे ज्यादा सेंटिमेंटल होने से अच्छा है कि आप मैगजीन को बहुत रिलीजियसली पढ़िए ट्राई टू रिवाइज इट एटलीस्ट ट्वाइस बिफोर दी एग्जाम सो दैट यू कैन एक्चुअली रिकॉल थिंग्स मेन प्रॉब्लम एग्जाम में रिकॉलिंग की ही होती है आप जब एग्जाम देंगे आप ये एकदम महसूस करेंगे कि आपको मेनली प्रॉब्लम होगी आप रिकॉल नहीं कर पा रहे याद आएगा हाँ यार ये तो पढ़ा था कहीं ना कहीं बट यू वॉन्ट बी एबल टू यू नो सेट द राइट आंसर आपको समझ में नहीं आएगा कि ये है या ये है वो तभी हो पाएगा जब आप उसको मल्टीपल टाइम्स रिवाइज करके एग्जाम में जाओगे आई होप सर आई एम जो मैं बोल रही हूँ वो आप भी रिलेट कर ही पा रहे होंगे जब आपने एग्जाम दिया होगा तो यही आपके साथ भी होता हुआ होगा नॉट इन वन एवरी टाइम रितिशा एवरी टाइम द सेम थिंग एंड नो मैटर वॉट यू थिंक यू हैव डन यू नो द एक्सपीरियंस ऑफ सिटिंग इन एग्जाम इज कम्प्लीटली डिफरेंट एंड दैट दैट टाइम इट बिकम सो क्लियर that this was hmm. my mistake i should have done that yes. i knew i was i should have done that i didn't do it and here i am hmm. but that is the process like you said we learn from and i guess uh, both of us being here today uh, the smart people in the audience will pick out 
the Definitely. things and learn from our experience. That is what we are trying to do actually for them. But your insights are very incisive and uh, highly appreciated. So please tell us more. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. So then, uh, all other news, I think, sorry, newsy political. You are seeing that Khalid Jismis is all non-BJP. I think, jab tak elections rahenge, five states mein ho nahi jaate hai March tak. The newspaper will be full of all these political things. अब आपको जो मतलब एस्पिरेंस व्हाट यू नीड टू पिक अप इज अगर मॉडल कोड ऑफ कंडक्ट से रिलेटेड कोई न्यूज आती है कोई पार्टी में कुछ एंटी डिफेक्शन वाली चीजें होती हैं ठीक है ब्रेकअप्स होते हैं पार्टी में तो उससे पॉलिटी कैसे रिलेटेड है हाउ यू नो द पॉलिटी प्लेज अराउंड वो आपको उसमें से पिकअप करनी है वैक्सीनेशन फॉर ट्वेल्व टू फोर्टीन एज ग्रुप लाइकली फ्रॉम मार्च हाउ डज दिस न्यूज कंसर्न यू राइट नाउ आई थिंक हम सब 12 से 14 के अब हैं और अभी बच्चे भी नहीं होंगे 12 से 14 तो इट्स यू टाइम फॉर अस दिस इज मोर इन द नेचर ऑफ एन अपडेट फॉर द पब्लिक दिस आई डोंट थिंक विल बिकम दिस विल नॉट क्वालिफाई एज न्यूज़ थ्रू 3 मंथ्स डाउन द लाइन दैट्स अनदर वे ऑफ थिंकिंग अबाउट इट इफ इट इज नॉट डिजर्विंग टू बी कॉल्ड न्यूज़ और एन इवेंट 3 मंथ्स इन द फ्यूचर इट शुड बी इग्नोर्ड एम आई राइट यस टोटली टोटली सर टोटली then kathak legend now this is important pandit birju maharaj he is an important personality in the world of kathak so aapko kathak ke bare mein pata hona chahiye now in, aap jaise ye news dekho aap isko yahan chhodo mat go back whatever you are reading for culture just go back to it read about kathak usme kaun kaun si mudra hoti hai kya uska kya kya you know uske important points hain then which are the important personalities related to it ye sab cheeze aap instantly dekh lo और आप जहां भी अपने कल्चर के नोट्स बना रहे हो आप प्लीज उसको वहां नोट कर लो बिकॉज नाउ कथक विल बिकम इम्पोर्टेंट फॉर दिस ईयर दे केन आस्क यू दिस ईयर अबाउट कथक एक बार वो भरतनाट्यम के बारे में कुछ दिन दो साल पहले पूछ चुके नाउ इट्स द टर्न ऑफ कथक इट्स वेरी लाइकली सो जस्ट गो बैक एंड रीड इट दैट्स वॉट सर इज से करंट अफेयर आइसोलेटेड मत पढ़ो आप उसको आप अपने स्टैटिक से भी रिलेट करो दैट वे यू विल बी एबल टू रिवाइज योर स्टैटिक ऑल्सो अ नंबर ऑफ टाइम्स बार बार न्यूज में आएगा आप बार बार वापस जाकर के देखेंगे और फिर आपको वो आपके दिमाग में सेट हो जाएगा यू नो यू विल कंसोलिडेट द न्यूज समवेयर इन योर माइंड देन आई थिंक ये तो नाउ वी कम टू इंटरनेशनल न्यूज ठीक है तो जी जिनपिंग रिजेक्ट कोल्ड वॉर मेंटालिटी देखिये जितनी भी इंटरनेशनल न्यूज रहती है एक बात आप समझिए कि उस वो एडिटोरियल में फीचर जरूर करेगी वंस द इश्यू इज कंप्लीट it will definitely feature in your editorial so in case you miss this trail agar aap miss kar rahe hain hamare time pe uh, israel wala issue jo tha wo bahut hi zyada you know flared up tha to kisi ko bhi agar you know nay aspirants ko thoda sa bhi lure karna hota tha to wo itna tough tough wo israel issue batane lagta tha so everybody you know used to waste time on that but i was clear ki main israel wale issue mein padhungi nahi mujhe pata hai mujhe teen cheeze pata hona chahiye wo kyon ho raha hai क्योंकि एक पीस ऑफ लैंड के लिए लड़ाई है यू शुड जस्ट नो द बेसिक ऑफ इट और उससे ज्यादा कुछ भी नहीं और मुझे इसराइल की ज्योग्राफी पता होना चाहिए एंड इसराइल में कौन कौन सी एथनिक ग्रुप्स हैं और किससे लड़ रहे हैं ओनली थ्री थिंग्स इफ यू नो यू आर डन विद एनी काइंड ऑफ डिस्प्यूट राइट एंड आई थिंक अनदर वे ऑफ थिंकिंग अबाउट इट टू एक्चुअली कैप्चर व्हाट मैम इज सेइंग द थम रूल टू फॉलो इज दैट नो नॉट ओनली अबाउट व्हाट द इवेंट इज that has been asked in the exam but what is the context of it if there is a issue of say cold war mentality the g g jinping is commenting on it the, the the issue is perennial and the issue is now that the what cold war was a conflict between two superpowers and now russia china is also pretty much on that pedestal pretty much or definitely on that pedestal and now wishes to rebut america and other superpowers in order to gain dominance this context you must know what the cold war was you must know where the speaker of this quotation is coming from what he wishes to say how he sees his country this is a matter of conceptual understanding of context and it comes with time this is also i suppose important to tell them natisha that it comes with time it's not possible for a beginner to you know pick up definitely. the newspaper and figure everything out definitely definitely it will take time it may take one attempt also but the sooner you learn it the better it will be yes and there is not something to be afraid of this once learned will enrich your life forever never will you be able to come back to your old patterns of thinking always you will have an integrated view of the world 
and in many ways that is the nature of this examination but the one thing that i feel that you know uh, nowadays aspirants are blessed is there are a lot of people who are making it easy for them yes even Definitely. if they don't read the newspaper and they are able to get the news out of it yes and they are presenting it in a very crisp way so if you are following someone just ensure that that person has at least given the exam once wo ek bar is process ko face kar chuka ho so he will be in a better situation because aapko 10 log 10 news bol denge isko yaad kar lo but kaise yaad karu yeah wo ek important cheez hai aur wo usse wahi bata payega jo is exam ko face kar chuka hoga and in many ways yes that's a fact because um, only when you go through the whole gamut of prelims mains interview you realize that it was all about the conceptual understanding of the world around us and how you how much maturity you can bring to the table in analyzing things around you what is your point of view have you just read this piece of news or have you thought about it in your mind have you conversed with it have you juggled it around in your mind and figured out something on your own about it just that amount if you are doing that application of mind you are safe it will reward you and so- इन वन ऑफ द स्टेजेस अगर आप प्रिलम्स में बच गए उस एनालिसिस से मेंस में बच गए तो इंटरव्यू में तो आप उसमें फंसने ही वाले हो दे आर डेफिनेटली गोइंग टू आस्क यू समथिंग रिलेटेड टू दिस एनालिसिस फॉर इंस्टेंस इन माय इंटरव्यू दे आस्क मी अबाउट रेलवे प्राइवेटाइजेशन सो देयर वाज अ कमेटी रिपोर्ट फ्लोटिंग ऑल ओवर सो मैंने भी ऑब्वियसली सब जगह से जब मॉक्स दिए थे तो यही हुआ कि ये रिपोर्ट uh, पढ़ लो तो मैंने पढ़ ली तो फिर उन्होंने प्राइवेटाइजेशन पूछा तो मैंने कहा कि कोर एक्टिविटीज को प्राइवेटाइज नहीं करना चाहिए अब कोर एक्टिविटीज बोल तो दिया नाउ दे वर हेल्प एंड ऑन आस्किंग मी कि कौन सी कोर एक्टिविटीज हम्म कि दे वर प्रोबिंग योर अंडरस्टैंडिंग बिकॉज़ आई सपोज यू ऑलरेडी वर इन द रेलवेज यू वांटेड टू प्रूव योर इनडेप्थ अंडरस्टैंडिंग एंड हाउ मच से यू हैव ऑन दिस पॉलिसी मैटर्स सो यस दे गेट देयर इनफैक्ट एज कोइंसिडेंस वुड हैव इट दिस कोल्ड वॉर इशू आई वाज आस्क्ड दिस इशू इन माय इंटरव्यू इन माय फर्स्ट इंटरव्यू between uh, the relationship between india and russia during the cold war that was the question mm-hmm. i did yeah. answer that very well but mm-hmm. that was a long long time ago mm-hmm. uh, but in any case i understand that what you are saying what you are coming from is absolutely true you are speaking from experience it is about the knowledge which you hold in your head the type of knowledge which you can converse about spontaneously not something you have to remember you know as a mm-hmm. matter of fact or detail something so naturally understood by you that you can talk about it seamlessly so uh, moving on germany vows to do all to guarantee ukraine security don't worry it will come in your editorial in fact uh, i think uh, ye 13th ya 14th january ki newspaper mein aaya hua hai ye editorial pura explain kiya hai ki you know kaise uh, usa uh, on table lekar aaya hai russia just because it has you know uh, put its, its troops around the ukraine border तो वापस यूएसए और रशिया जो कि कोल्ड वॉर एरा के राइवल्स थे दे हैव कम ऑन टू टेबल एंड दे हैव स्टार्टेड डिस्कसिंग थिंग्स सो एडिटोरियल में ये चीजें दे ब्रिंग इट आउट वेरी ब्यूटीफुली अगर कोई अच्छा एडिटोरियल लिख रहा है तो दे विल ब्रिंग इट आउट वेरी ब्यूटीफुली आप अगर बिट्स एंड पीसेस में ये न्यूज पढ़ोगे तो यू विल नॉट बी एबल टू कंसोलिडेट इट सो आई ऑलवेज सजेस्ट कि इंटरनेशनल रिलेशन के जितने भी न्यूज है यू ट्राई टू टेक इट फ्रॉम एडिटोरियल डोंट ट्राई टू फॉलो दिस न्यूज पेपर पेज वरना आप उसको कंसोलिडेट नहीं कर पाओगे then vaccinate whole world to end pandemic north korea fires more missiles i think north korea ke paas kuch kaam hi nahi rehta either it's on always on some or the other destructive part theek hai aur is tarah ke destructive wali cheeze jo mujhe lagta hai that upsc doesn't ask this is my personal opinion it will always ask something that is positive to jo bhi positive news rehti hai world ke bare mein international clear koi positive news hai just keep a track of it kuch alliance bani hai jo positive hai कुछ यू नो एनवायरमेंट से रिलेटेड काम हो रहा है जो पॉजिटिव है दे विल डेफिनेटली आस्क यू दिस कोई ये नहीं पूछेगा यू नो कि पाकिस्तान ने कौन सा मिसाइल फेंक दिया या नॉर्थ कोरिया ने कौन सा मिसाइल बना लिया इट विल नेवर आस्क यू ऑल दिस नाउ इंपैक्ट ऑफ सुनामी बीइंग असेस्ड इन टोंगा नाउ दिस बिकम्स इंपॉर्टेंट क्योंकि आप जो ये जो प्लेस का नाम दिया हुआ है यू शुड गो बैक एंड सी इट इन योर मैप फॉर प्रॉब्लम्स this news as such is not important but the place mentioned here is the place in news and you need to go back and see its you know geography kahan located hai aas paas kaun si jagah hai koi sea hai kya theek hai so this will become important now and you can see so much of geography in this news article 
international yes it is likely that if it is an event of noteworthy importance then something like this might be asked early warning systems for tsunamis do does india have it what does india have to say about that uh, what have we done so far after the devastating tsunami that occurred here what are we doing to prevent destruction of coastal areas you know and uh, what is going on in this area what has triggered it and what have they done for it so i think this things... is a topic in our paper number 3 disaster management yes. wale mein all yes. these things are there yes then i think uh, palestinian west bank issue hamesha hi chalta hai to aapko wahan ki geography pata hona chahiye what is gaza strip what is west bank you know palestine israel lebanon jordan वो वाला जब तक आपको नहीं पता होगा ब्लैक सी कैस्पियन सी कौन सी कंट्रीज सराउंडिंग है ये सब चीजें आपको यू नो पता ही होनी चाहिए इट्स टेकन फॉर ग्रांटेड कि ये पता होगा तो जब वेटरेंस पेपर देके निकलते हैं और फ्रेशर्स देके निकलते हैं तो वेटरेंस कहते हैं कि ये तो आता ही था ये तो पता ही था और फ्रेशर्स हमेशा सोचते हैं यार ये कहाँ से पता था ये तो कभी हमने पढ़ा ही नहीं है सो so, यही से ये चीजें आती है न्यूज रीडिंग से आपको यही पता होना चाहिए कि इस एरिया की जोग्रफी क्या है then china's economy grows 8.1% to 18 uh, trillion dollars so we are not interested china kitna grow raha hai we are interested ki india ka kya chal raha hai and one more thing jo bi monthly policies aati hai repo rate kya kiya rbi ne you know aur kitna grow hua kiske wajah se kaun sa quarter badh raha hai ghat raha hai kaun si industry aage chal rahi never never go into those details keep yourself clear bhai jo economic survey mein aayega I have to read the economic survey cover to cover. Just keep this point in mind. मैंने देखा है in fact बहुत लोग editorial analysis channels भी मैंने देखे हैं जो online चलते हैं कई सारे coaching institutes के you know they get into so much depth. अगर एक article आ जाता है editorial में about the economy, how is it performing in this quarter? I don't know why. Economy एक quarter में कैसा perform कर रही है it would never be asked in your exam. they will always ask you on a macroscopic view yes and okay. here and here our thumb rule comes into the picture to rescue us our thumb rule said that if it is not likely to be news 3 months 6 months down the mm-hmm. line it should be ignored and we mm-hmm. should take any periodical completely eliminates any such periodical changes totally sir omicron more of a flash flash flood than a wave lifting prospects like sir said कि अगले तीन महीने में क्या होने वाला यू डोंट नो अबाउट ओमिक्रॉन सो लेट्स वेट एंड वॉच व्हाट इज हैपनिंग एंड इन 3 6 मंथ्स फ्रॉम नाउ ओमिक्रॉन सर्टेनली विल बी इंपॉर्टेंट बट दिस पर्टिकुलर इवेंट व्हाटएवर दिस इज बीइंग स्पोकन अबाउट द कमेंट्स ऑफ समबडी फ्रॉम द आरबीआई इज नॉट गोइंग टू बी रिलेवेंट एट ऑल डेफिनेटली हां लेकिन अगर आप अभी इस टाइम पे कभी या एक महीने पहले आप यू नो इंटरव्यू के लिए जा रहे होते देन दिस वुड हैव बीन वेरी रिलेवेंट यस दे वुड वांट टू नो हाउ अपडेटेड यू आर and might just pick something in perhaps to start the conversation about something which was recently said but they would not leave it there they probably go into the depth of the bigger issue actually so even then this would not uh, absolve you of understanding the conceptual foundations of it so i think we are done ha ek cheez aur jo is baar sports se related teen char questions aa gaye so you know people were very वेरी सरप्राइज लोगों को लग रहा है अब हम पूरा स्पोर्ट्स वाला पोर्शन पढ़ेंगे तो प्लीज डोंट गो इन टू दैट डिटेल देखिए यूपीएससी की आदत है हमेशा दो तीन गुगली डालती डालती है बट उसके चक्कर में आप एकदम सब कुछ पढ़ने लगो तो इट इज नॉट वर्थ ऑफ योर टाइम कि आप पूरा न्यूज सेक्शन स्पोर्ट्स वाला पढ़ने लगो लेट इट बी अगर हंड्रेड में से आप चार क्वेश्चन नहीं कर पा रहे हो सो डोंट वरी अबाउट इट नाइनटी सिक्स क्वेश्चन तो करो ना ठीक है इनिशियली uh, यूपीएससी ने चार साल uh, हर लगातार चार साल में हर बार एक न्यूज रिपोर्ट uh, एक रिपोर्ट पूछी है कि ये रिपोर्ट कौन सी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन रिलीज करती है उसके कारण लोग दो दो सौ रिपोर्ट याद करने लगे थे सिर्फ वो एक क्वेश्चन के लिए एंड पीपल फॉरगॉट यू नो कि इकोनॉमी अगर हम स्टार्टिक पोर्शन कर लें या फिर पॉलिटी अच्छे से कर लें और अगर अठारह में से हम पहले पंद्रह कर रहे थे अब हम सोलह कर लेंगे उसमें से सो ये एक क्वेश्चन के लिए हमको वो दो सौ रिपोर्ट नहीं आते एग्जैक्टली एग्जैक्टली बिल्कुल करेक्ट दिस इज व्हाट आई 
it is not going to give you a high roi because it will consume so much amount of time you could have taken the same amount of time invested them in some overlapping areas in some conventional areas and come away with five questions instead of that one but mm-hmm. here again like ma'am said before this issue of anxiety insecurity comes into the picture start to focus on doing everything end up doing nothing in quality nothing at all so sir if we have time i can just show them my notes of editorials yes please thank you so we are done with the newspaper i think hardly kitne do ya teen news aapko mile importance ke uske liye i think mujhe nahi lagta ki aapko pura newspaper padhne ki zarurat hai you can skip it also but yes don't leave editorials kyunki editorials you get the language how how can you express yourself and there are very good quote lines starting padho editorials ki end padho usse aapko you know essay ki startings mil payengi आपके अपने जीएस पेपर्स की स्टार्टिंग्स और एंडिंग्स मिल पाएंगी सो जस्ट गो थ्रू दी एडिटोरियल्स लाइन बाय लाइन इन फैक्ट व्हेन आई यू नो टेक ऑनलाइन क्लासेस फॉर एडिटोरियल्स आई सर ऑलवेज मार्क सम ऑफ द लाइंस व्हिच आई थिंक वुड बी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर एस एस और वुड बी इंपॉर्टेंट ओपनिंग लाइन्स और क्लोजिंग लाइन्स फॉर जीएस पेपर्स सो हमेशा आपको कुछ स्टार्ट एडिटोरियल से निकाल लो और कुछ ओपनिंग क्लोजिंग लाइन्स निकाल लो और try to catch the language of the editorial the how how you know uh, how you deny something gracefully wo aap editorial se bahut acha seekh sakte yes, how about... do you know criticize the government but gracefully at the same time not being rude tell, giving your point not being rude ye aap editorial se bahut acha le sakte yes because editorials are the only portion of the newspaper where you will find prose you understand prose news that this news is flat this is not prose because it does not express anything much it is designed and written to convey the information as objectively as possible in editorials what ma'am is saying is that you will find prose in the sense that expression will be there a critical analysis of pros and cons good or bad will be there and there some writing skill is required but yes of course we deal with this in a lot of detail in our segment on essay and answer writing but uh, these notes look very interesting nitisha can you walk us through what's going on here yes sir so uh, as you can see suggest so me i have made some notes main is tarah se apne jo notes hai wo bana kar ke rakhti hu in fact maine uh, 19 june se ya fir i think may se bhi beech mein कभी मैंने नोट्स बनाने शुरू किए थे आई कुड गेट टाइम थोड़ा सा मिस हो गया बट देन आई अगेन स्टार्टेड फ्रॉम फर्स्ट डिसम्बर और मैं इस तरह से अपने नोट्स बनाती हूँ एंड देन इट बिकम्स इजी कि मैं उनको यू नो अपडेट कर सकूं। दीज आर द नोट्स ऑफ एडिटोरियल्स अभी तक के जितने भी एडिटोरियल है जिस केम आउट दी एडिटोरियल इम्पोर्टेंट वन एंड आई मेक नोट आउट ऑफ इट फॉर इंस्टेंस अगर आप uh, जान का न्यूज़पेपर देखें तो मैंने पढ़ सब कुछ लिया है पूरा एडिटोरियल पढ़ा हुआ है ठीक है बट जितने भी एडिटोरियल्स थे उसमें से मुझे ये चार एडिटोरियल्स इंपॉर्टेंट लगे सो आई हैव मेड नोट्स आउट ऑफ इट एक का मैंने बना लिया है थ्री रिमेन अभी टाइम नहीं मिला बट आई एम गोइंग टू मेक देम शॉर्टली लेकिन सेवनटीन जनवरी के मैंने सारे नोट्स बनाए हुए सो एज यू कैन सी शॉर्ट नोट्स कंपाइल्ड है वन मोर थिंग यू नो बहुत सारे लोग ऐसा बोलते हैं कि हमको ना ऑनलाइन नहीं कर पा रहे हम आई एम मोर यू नो कन्वर्जन विथ हार्ड टेक्स्ट हार्ड कॉपीज बट आई वुड से करंट अफेयर्स के लिए आप जितना जल्दी टेक्सावी बन जाओगे उतना आपके लिए अच्छा होगा इट्स वेरी कन्वीनियंट टू मेक नोट्स ऑनलाइन स्पेशली विद न्यूज पेपर क्योंकि आप बाद में जाके उनको अपडेट इजिली कर सकते हो और आप तुरंत इसको फाइंड भी इजिली कर पाओगे जस्ट आपको कंट्रोल एफ करना है अपना की वर्ड डालना है एंड यू कैन यू नो just find what you are looking for for instance the class i took on uh, 15th jan to so, uh, 12th jan maine 10th 11th 12th ke newspapers usme padhaye the editorials basically so there was an article related to extending gst compensation as a reform catalyst तो सबसे पहले इस तरह से मैंने नोट्स बनाए थे कि इसकी नीड क्या है कॉम्पेंसेशन की ठीक है सो यू मस्ट बी नोइंग कि जब जीएसटी आया था तो दे सेड कि कुछ स्टेट्स जो थी उनका रेवेन्यू ज्यादा था कुछ स्टेट्स का कम था तो जो ज्यादा स्टेट्स थी जिनका रेवेन्यू ज्यादा था उनको ऑन बोर्ड लाना था कि हम भाई जीएसटी में एब्जॉर्ब हो जाए तो उनको यू नो सेंटर ने एक चॉकलेट दी कि भाई हम आपको पांच साल तक कॉम्पेंसेशन देंगे जितना भी आपका रेवेन्यू 
कम आएगा जीएसटी के कारण आपका अगर रेवेन्यू में कुछ भी कम हुआ तो वी विल गिव यू कॉम्पेंसेशन तो दी एंटायर न्यूज और इसके बहुत सारे आर्टिकल मे से चले आ रहे ठीक है दिस इज द फाइनल आर्टिकल और ये फाइनल यू नो द प्रॉब्लम क्रक्स इसमें सब कुछ है मैंने वो नोट कर लिए कैलकुलेशन कैसे होता है जीएसटी कॉम्पेंसेशन का कॉम्पेंसेशन सेस क्या होता है और मेजर इश्यूज क्या क्या है ठीक है सो आई मेड नोट्स लाइक दिस अब मुझे कुछ भी नहीं करना है अब कोई भी आर्टिकल आएगा जीएसटी कॉम्पेंसेशन से रिलेटेड आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू रीड इट क्योंकि मुझे पता है कि क्रक्स क्या है इशू क्या है इशू ये है कि स्टेट कॉम्पेंसेशन मांग रही है सेंटर नहीं दे पा रहा है बीच में सेंटर ने स्टेट से कहा कि भाई ठीक है कोविड के लिए आपको कुछ फंड्स चाहिए ठीक है तो आप एक काम करो आप आरबीआई से बोरो कर लो और उसका इंटरेस्ट और प्रिंसिपल सेंटर पे करता रहेगा बट नाउ सेंटर इज रिलेक्टेड टू पे दैट ऑल्सो दिस इज द क्रक्स अब स्टेट में थोड़ा सा मिस्ट्रस्ट हो गया है एंड दिस इज यू नो दिस इज अ ब्लॉट ऑन आर फेडरलिज्म बस इतना सा इश्यू है ये अगर आपको समझ में आ गया आपका कोई भी क्वेश्चन पेपर नंबर थ्री में आ जाएगा आप उसमें बहुत अच्छे से लिख लो अब आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू रीड एनी यू नो थिंग रिलेटेड टू इम्प्लीमेंटेशन ऑफ जीएसटी और एनी थिंग रिलेटेड टू जीएसटी कॉम्पेंसेशन मेरा बस हो गया नाउ आई कीप रिवाइजिंग दिस अगेन और अगर आपको इश्यू क्लियर है तो आपको रिवाइज करने की भी जरूरत नहीं पड़ेगी अब देखिए मैंने इसमें वे फॉरवर्ड भी की क्या क्या हो सकता है जीएसटी में कुछ स्ट्रक्चरल रिफॉर्म्स की जरूरत है पेट्रोलियम प्रोडक्ट रियल एस्टेट एल्कोहल इन सबको जीएसटी फोल्ड में लाने की जरूरत है चार रेट्स हैं अभी ठीक है फाइव ट्वेल्व एटीन ट्वेंटी एट और स्पेशल रेट्स हैं कुछ उन सबको यूनिफाई करने की जरूरत है तो ये तीन वे फॉरवर्ड कभी भी एग्जाम में आ जाए आई कैन इजिली राइट इट एंड रिमेन्स कॉमन to all questions pertaining to gst as if they are analysis based exactly and so this is basically a, a very intelligent extraction that ma'am has done nitisha let me ask you a very yes. important question burning question which i am sure many students have yes sir where do you conduct these classes and can they attend it yes sir it's an open platform uh, there's a link uh, live sessions hote hain saturday sunday it's a two hour session वीकली एडिटोरियल्स करती हूँ सैटरडे को टू आवर्स लेती हूँ टू आवर्स क्या मतलब वन एंड हाफ आवर्स में या वन आवर में ही कंप्लीट हो जाते हैं एडिटोरियल्स परफेक्ट आई विल शेयर दिस लिंक विद ऑल ऑफ माय स्टूडेंट्स एंड यू विल फाइंड देम ईगरली वेटिंग एंड लिसनिंग टू दी सेशंस ऑफ योर इट विल बी वेरी वेरी हेल्पफुल फॉर देम एंड देयर इज अ व्हाट्सएप ग्रुप आल्सो फॉर दिस एडिटोरियल क्लासेस वेयर आई सेंड द लिंक रेगुलरली और उस पे इसके पीडीएफ्स भी अवेलेबल होते हैं मैं पीडीएफ्स भी दे देती हूं ये जो नोट्स बनाए हैं I I make PDFs out of it and I share with the students. Wonderful. So today is absolutely a bonanza day. It's like Christmas. Everything mm-hmm. that you require, uh, you are getting. And this is, you know, the charisma. This is the generosity. This is the philanthropic drive. Nobody does this, all of this stuff, you know, out of any ulterior motive. It takes so much work. Look at the amount of work she's put in. She's already cleared the exam. Why is she doing this? She's doing this because she likes to teach, and she's doing this because she's passionate and. I think that I did not have any such guidance when I was in in your shoes, and the people who are attending this session and listening to this should make maximum use of this, maximum use of this. Very very useful, uh, Nitisha, and I will be sharing all of these links with the the students, and they will. I hope they will hound you. I hope they will ask you intelligent questions. I hope they will learn from your expertise. अपॉर्चुनिटी बहुत मुश्किल से मिलती है लोगों को बिकॉज मेरे टाइम पे मुझे नहीं मिली कि आई कैन यू नो कन्वर्स विद समन वन टू वन और मैं अपने डाउट पूछ पाऊँ सो आई थिंक की अगर इफ वी हैव टाइम इफ वी कैन डिवोर्ट सम टाइम फॉर दी एक्सपीरियंस सो वी शुड यू नो टेक आउट सम टाइम फ्रॉम आर बिजी लाइफ ऑब्वियसली एंजॉय करना सबको पसंद होता है बट कोविड के कारण आजकल हम बाहर ही नहीं जा पा रहे सो लेट्स हेल्प सम एक्सपीरियंस हुआ इन डायर नीड ऑफ हेल्प this is something i really appreciate about you nidisha and that is why i wanted you to come address and uh, the students and to introduce you to them so everybody who's listening to this feel free to ask ma'am questions and to uh, you know utilize this opportunity that she's giving you her notes her insights her analysis and i think she's simplifying she's actually offloading and doing so much of the work for you that it's incredible i honestly feel a little bit jealous if i had this type of input uh, i think my rank would have been a lot better i don't know but 
it's very very appreciated atisha all these efforts of yours thank you so much sir so sir one last uh, editorial from my side 10th jan mein ek editorial aaya tha some rajbhavans are on war path to is editorial mein aapko kuch bhi nahi karna tha केवल आपको कुछ फैक्ट्स थे प्रिलिम्स के बारे में वो आपको देख लेने एंड दैट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्योंकि आपकी पॉलिटी वाली जो लक्ष्मीकांत है पॉलिटी की उसमें ये चीज नहीं दी हुई है उसमें गवर्नर का क्या रोल रहता है स्पीकर के इलेक्शन में इट्स नॉट गिवन एन सो दिस टाइप ऑफ इंफॉर्मेशन यू कैन यू नो एक्सट्रैक्ट फ्रॉम एडिटोरियल ओनली तो अगर ये आपके एग्जाम में आने के बहुत ज्यादा चांसेस है बिकॉज सी इट हैज बिकम अ फूड फॉर थॉट फॉर द एग्जामिनर ऑल्सो तो एग्जामिनर कभी भी आपसे ये पूछ सकते हैं so this type of information if you get it somewhere try to note it in your polity lakshmi kant mein hi note kar lo iska ya to print out nikal lo ya haath se hi likh lo ki speaker ka you know speaker ke election mein governor ka kya role hota hai so uh, i hope i have made myself thoda sa you know aapko samajh mein aaya hoga is session mein ki main kya bolna cha rahi hu aur kis tarah se you know you should align your preparation Yes, I think it, it's been very enlightening for me as well. In fact, I learned quite a few things. And uh, this level of uh, organization that you bring to your notes, and especially your editorial analysis, I think is phenomenal. And uh, like I said, students are lucky to have this. Now it is up to them to use it. I will be sharing all of these resources and the links to get in touch with Ma'am. I hope you do. I hope you've uh, taken the most of the conversation that we've had. and also you will continue to take from all of these efforts that are being made uh, and make us proud you know uh, don't commit the mistakes which we committed learn from them do better than us and make us proud and that would be fantastic that's what we do all this stuff for okay. it's been a pleasure speaking to you nitisha and i hope to do more sessions with you it's been a fantastic experience uh, for me as i'm sure it has been for my students i highly appreciate your efforts and i want to thank you on behalf of everyone for conducting this session with us thank you so much sir and i hope the students find it useful and uh, if they have any queries they can just join the channel as the topper is and there's a whatsapp group also for these editorial classes specifically where i share the pdfs also so if they want they can join that group and get these uh, you know pdfs regularly also and i'm so happy sir that you invited me and uh, i could share my insights with such a wide audience it is going to get even better and this audience is uh, i think lucky to have it and um, i think it's only going to grow and um, since you have so much to so much to offer so much to share and so generously you do it uh, speaking of generously i almost forgot to mention that ma'am has written a complete article on becoming is.com on the blog and this article too i will be sharing with you everything that she said about you know filtering the newspaper about figuring out which news to eliminate and so on she has encapsulated in a very nice article that will remain with you that can be your guideline as to how to approach it apart from that you supplement it with her sessions with ma'am's notes and i think your sorted current affairs the whole gamut of current affairs for you is sorted i think after this so i hope you can make the most of that is a wonderful initiative uh, by unitisha and thank you very much for doing this with us thank you so much sir thank you for inviting me and i hope we meet soon again with something new certainly certainly thank you sir thank you thank you unitisha